Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode on the Hermitcraft Season 7 server. I hope everybody's having a great day today. I am doing fantastic, guys. The Creeper Farm is insane. We're going to go over that in just a minute, though. So before we get into today's episode, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. My question for you is simple. You are allowed to pick one hermit and you can only watch their videos for the rest of time. That means you've got to choose between Grian and Iskal and myself and Mumbo. Who do you pick and why? And you can't, all the other hermits are gone. They're still in the server, but you can't see their videos. So let me know down in the comment section below who you would choose. So last episode, when we left off, we had worked on getting the kind of creeper command center up and running. And uh, during the live stream, we fixed it to where we're going to use campfires to collect all of our goodies rather than using the magma blocks. This thing is producing. This is about two hours of AFK time. And we have got um, quite a bit of gunpowder. Plus, I have probably seven or eight stacks upstairs. So um, one thing that I want to do here today, because we've been working in the base a lot, I want to go ahead and do a little bit something different today. So as you can see in the title, I have named it Trader Jevs because we are making a new shop on the server today, people. That's right. It's going to be awesome. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and work on getting the final design for the floor finished. So that's what we're gonna do first. So first off, the thing I think I wanna do the most is grab some lamps because we're definitely gonna need light down here. So the more light we have, the better. This is gonna be our AFK position. Another thing that I think I'm probably gonna do is turn these uh, hoppers facing forward and have individual chests. So um, the next thing that I wanna do is I kind of want to incorporate some stairs into this build a little bit because we have detail in other spots, but we don't have a lot of detail in terms of uh, prismarine stairs and slabs. So that's what we're gonna work on now. <clears throat> so, uh, around the center lights, I think I'm going to go something like this. I like that a lot, actually. But I also want to have uh, some of the detail that we had put upstairs into the build as well. Do I have any? Okay, grab some more glass. So what I'm thinking is we'll have Prismarine um, running straight off each corner, just like so. And then we'll put glass over top of this. Um, there we go. So I don't plan on having a ton of glass down here. So they're there, and then they're there. And let's do it on this side real fast. That's the wrong spot. All right, there we go. Okay, so oh, oops. now that we have that done, is that the right color glass? It doesn't say, it didn't look like the right color glass. I think I'm actually going to go ahead and add a new block into the scheme of things with the prismarine blocks. Something like this, maybe. I don't know if I want to continue to use those or not, but I do want to have sort of the same type of design that we had upstairs. So something like this. I like that look too. That looks really good. It's kind of, it kind of gives it like almost a center point of the base. Uh, now I want to go ahead and add in a little bit of instone brick into the matter. Now this is going to be gone, so we won't have to worry about that. Okay, there we go. All right, so now we just got to figure out this center point here. Now, um, I think I want to add some more prismarine in with the glass. I really, really like the underlayment type of thing where you do like prismarine glass and then let's do maybe that. You know what? That's not bad. Put this here. Let me get rid of all this real fast. Okay, so let me grab some more prismarine. I think I'm going to switch this though. I don't really like that there. Um, so put that right there, 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 there. Um, you know what? That doesn't really, doesn't really strike my fancy very much, guys. I got to be honest with you. Okay, so what I think we'll do is we'll switch back to the prismarine and then kind of catty corner it a little bit. That kind of gives it a little bit of a different look. Something like that. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um... Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and cut because I wanna do the insides too. I'm gonna get this all cleaned up and I might change it a little bit and we'll come back and then we'll finally start working on our shop after we take a look at the design. Okay guys, so I finished the center design up. It looks really good down here. I like it a lot actually. If you guys have any quarrels, let me know what you guys think. Otherwise, you know, we're gonna do our thing. 
one thing i did notice was that this turned into a water source when i was done i'm not sure what happened there but um <laughs> we are getting drops galore right now guys oh my goodness it is working out very well for us so now that that is all taken care of um i had mentioned we are going to be building a new shop today and that is still very much true uh okay i need to go this way always base the way i'm flying on vintage beef's base <laughs> so we're heading over to the shopping district because we are building a new base today called trader jevs so in america there is a uh, store chain called trader joe's and i want to base my store off of that uh it's gonna be kind of a kind of a funny play on their name okay so i think i'm gonna go ahead and build in this area right here i think right next to b00o is gonna work best especially because the block palette of our base is pretty much the same not the same but it's pretty close so to get started let's go ahead and do our, our kind of our uh, plan out so we know how much we got to terraform so we have um a corner piece and then we have two windows two windows and then two windows so we have three double windows in the front and then we have a door which is too wide right there on the side we have uh two blocks just like this and then we have uh, space and then space space and then another two blocks so that's kind of the footprint of our bay uh our build which actually kind of fits pretty well i think um so let me go ahead and get this area terraformed really quickly and i'll be back okay guys it is time to build our shop so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work on the base build a little bit so each of these blocks i feel really complement each other i think the stone brick and brick combination is one that is not really used a lot but looks amazing when it is used so that's what we're going to use now uh first thing we got to do is we got to get some glass to make some windows there we go i feel like um this is something that i don't do a lot and that's why i'm doing it in this video uh, I never really kind of go over the build process. Now, almost everything that I build on Hermitcraft is built in a creative world first. I think that's a really good habit for you guys to get into. Um, it just makes for uh, better builds, I feel like. So, although I'm not gonna lie, I did, I, I struggled quite a bit with this build. So um, trying to build something that's like very uniform and cookie cutter is it's not, I mean, I'm good at that in general, but for some reason I had a lot of issues with this one. So now we need to put uh, a lid on this thing and we're going to go up and over. Uh, so I decided that I wanted to use lanterns as well. Now, a lot of these storefronts, they have, um, like a little bit of a awning for their customers to walk under if it's raining. So that's what we're going to put here. I might need to make more of these. There we go. Okay, so I need one more. Let me go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna use lanterns. I really feel like lanterns and brick go together super, super well. Oops. So now that we have the front face finished, we're gonna go ahead and make the rest of this. I hope I have enough bricks. Oh, I still have two more stacks. Woo! Didn't think I was gonna have enough there for a moment. So the bottom of this is um, gonna have windows in it and so there is a two block uh gap there and then we go up two over one same thing here so i'm just going to go completely over to the edge here and we'll do the same thing on the other side just like that all right so there is two space one one and then two spaces just like that right there i think that looks pretty good um Hmm. I think I made this a little bit bigger than it needs to be. <laughs> I, uh, I got so overzealous about planning the blocks out. I made it a little bit too long there. There we go. So that's supposed to be how it's supposed to look. All right. So we'll do the same thing on the other side. This is the back wall right here. And uh, although this is a two story uh, room, we are only going to be making one story. The other store well, the top of the part of it will look like a, like a fake house or something.
All right, guys, Trader Gems is about to be open for the first time, and it looks so good. I'm so excited. So we got to leave some signs to let people know how this is going to work. So first off, let's say welcome to Trader Gems. Um, this shop pays you for your oh no space there buddy your and then let's do a little arrow your items okay next up we should say each chest <clears throat> has a listed item and how much i will pay for that for it there we go Hopefully they understand to read left or right. <laughs> um, simply put the correct. Wow, typing not going well for me today, guys. Simply put the correct amount into the chest and take. I cannot do it right now. Your payment there we go uh happy earning or i don't want to i don't want to say that uh if you have any questions contact god i hate signs don't you guys hate signs i hate signs contact me there we go so let's read that over one more time just to be sure. Welcome to Trader Jev's. This shop pays you for your items. Each chest has a listed item and how much I will pay for it. Simply put the correct amount into the chest and take your payment. If you have any questions, contact me. All right, so we actually need to make um, one more sign. So let's quickly do that. So uh, I'm gonna be buying a few different items because I want them for my base and I'm far too lazy to go mine for them. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I'm just keeping it real. So um, let's see, how should we do this? We should do, I'm just, I, I wanna make this as user-friendly as possible. So for example, this chest, we're looking for end stone. So we'll put end stone at the top and let's do, let's do one diamond, uh, two stacks. Let's do two stacks. I feel like that's very, re very understandable. End stone, one diamond, two stacks. The next one I want is uh, cyan die, cyan die, and I'll do one diamond for. I guess two stacks would be a fair number because when you craft them, you get two, two stacks. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's not how you spell that. There we go. Uh, next up, I need cactus um, because I do still want more dye and my cactus farm is not not hanging in there very well. So let's do cactus and we'll do um, one diamond. And then this one will be three stacks, I believe. So something like that. And then what we'll do, I will fill out the rest of these. We're going to be buying uh, glass. Cactus, cyan dye, end stone, prismarine, and bone, I believe. I think those are going to be the ones that I want the most. So one of these chests has diamonds in it. So what we have now is we have to set this up to where they... So for this one is one diamond for two stacks. So I would put a diamond here, here, here. And then they would just fill in the spots with the diamonds, right? So you would just you would take the diamond out, put the two stacks in. And I'll do that for the rest of them. But I think, guys, I think it is time to move on. I'm going to finish this up for uh, off camera and we'll be doing some new stuff. All right. So I've been working around the base some. And I think the next thing that we need to work on is getting up and down from this middle area. Now, um, because we have glass and everything here, I was trying to think of the easiest way possible. And I think I got a good way. So the first thing that needs to do is remove this glass. Uh, another thing that I have been doing around the base is working on this middle pillar i still don't know what i want to do with it yet um it's just one of those things that's really been a hard issue for me but what i think we're gonna do with the uh up and down elevators is make a area that we can walk into right here right so i think this is gonna work pretty well so first off we would need to get our end stone in here so you walk in 
and there would be a wall right there a wall right there and um if we put fence gates right there that could work pretty well it would put us up right in the corner there you know what i think that's probably going to be the best so let's get rid of this okay get rid of the water really quickly water be gone the water down here has been the hardest part of everything okay um so, <laughs> go away <laughs> all right so you walk in and go up from here so we'll have this set up to have an up and a down so the only question becomes i guess we're probably gonna have to use dark oak because that was what we used for the other elevator so let me see if i have any dark oak fin skates real fast oh god the server has been in incredibly laggy today and it's been pretty hard to fly around but it's okay we'll get through it we're gonna get through it it's okay uh i may actually have some more over here there we go i knew i had some all right what did I, oh i was like what did i hit that time <laughs> all right so this one in this corner let's say this one's gonna go upwards right so we need to put a piece of stone in there and then we would put the fence gates probably like that i think i can probably fit water in there from there so put the water at the top block there let's see how that flows down oh i came out oh i'm like wait what's going on so that right there would be perfect so then from there we need to make sure that that is a source so that's how we do that okay i like that a lot then get rid of that and get rid of that and put this in so is that how we want to do that um i like i like the idea of the elevators going up just not sure about the fence gates yet the fence gates are i don't know i don't think there's another way for us to get in and out of there unless um do i have i don't have a crafting table hold on i want to try one other thing really quickly so let's fly out of here can you make um ow <laughs> I'm gonna kill myself flying today. Can you make um in stone fences? Or not fences, but walls. You can. The question becomes though, can you can you fit through those? So let's try that. Not hurt ourselves this time. So get rid of that. Because I know if they're not connected, sometimes you can definitely walk through them. I don't know if that's gonna be too skinny though, is the problem. So, no, I can't walk through it. Man, if I could walk through that, that would be so, so perfect. Okay, so I decided to go with uh, trapdoors instead. It works out really well. It looks awesome, and it's super easy to get up and down. And I think this is probably how we're going to do transportation between the levels as well. So, but uh, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for today's episode. If you enjoyed the video, um, don't hit the like button. No, it doesn't matter, guys. Uh, I just hope that you enjoyed. So anyways, this is I, Jevin. Peace out, everybody.